So today in uh, statistical thermodynamics, uh, we will be very quickly looking at uh, the partition functions. Now uh, in Boltzmann distribution law, so this is the expression of uh, Maxwell Boltzmann uh, distribution law and in Maxwell Boltzmann distribution law, the lower term uh, that is summation g i e raised to minus beta e i this lower term it is known as the partition function and uh, this partition function was introduced by Fowler and basically it is a dimensionless quantity that means it does not have any unit and this partition function it correlates the microscopic properties to the macroscopic properties that is microscopic properties of the system like we have energy levels uh, like we have energy levels dipoles and other microscopic properties to the macroscopic properties like we have an entropy enthalpy and such that this partition function it could be defined as it is the way in which the energy of a system is partitioned amongst the molecule constituting the system so it gives us the idea about energy is partition amongst the molecules of the system and this it depends on the molecular weight of system molar volume of the system as well as the temperature of the system qualitatively speaking uh, this partition function it indicate this partition function it indicates how the particles they are distributed amongst various energy level and it gives us the measure of the available energy levels how many energy levels are available it gives that information particles they perform different types of motion and the different types of energies are associated with it so when the particle is performing translation motion that is it is moving randomly so the energy associated will be translational energy particle when they are performing rotational motion that is a diatomic molecule when they are performing rotation around the molecular axis energy will be rotational energy when the particles they are vibrating that is uh, the energy associated will be vibrational motion and the energy associated with the electronic transition as well as nuclear energy and so on so there are different types of energy and the energy which uh, the energy this energy is associated with the different types of motion and this energy is then we, uh, this energy will be represented in the form of partition function that is uh, the uh, translational energy will give us translation partition function rotational energy will give us rotational partition function a vibrational energy will give us vibrational partition function and so on and we know that energy is an additive function so energy the total energy will be the sum of all the energies uh, hence we could uh, we could write ei so this is we could write it equal to ei and total energy is if sum of all this and similarly this are their respective statistical weight factor we could substitute this in our partition function e expression and we know that beta is equal to 1 upon kt so i have substituted the value of beta over here and when we simplify it we get the individual expressions of the partition function and this individual expressions are the respective partition function that is the first that is uh, the expression containing the translation energy will be translation partition function expression containing rotational will be the rotational partition function expression containing vibrational energy will be vibrational partition function electronic and so on so these are the partition function and the total partition function will be the multiplicative quantity of all the partition function so basically this partition function it tells us how the energy is distributed amongst different molecules and how many energy levels are accessible so um, th this when we were discussing numericals we will see the total number of energy levels that are accessible or the total number of energy levels the particle could go so that information is obtained from the partition function thank you very much